are live logs and how to how to debug them. Um, okay, so we are talking about live logs. Essentially, this is we are everybody knows dead logs, right? So we can define it in contrast. So dead logs, so cyclical weights. Basically, you are you have two or more concurrent threads. Um, waiting for a resource and one may be holding the resource assuming it's a unitary resource and uh, holding one resource and the other holding other resource so they are both waiting not releasing so basically it's wait, hold and wait so essentially if I had to say hold a resource and wait and this is being done by both and therefore they are in an embrace which neither will let go and so the wait will be forever so that's a deadlock live lock is basically uh, opposite of that instead of waiting you are trying to get a resource but you are being courteous so you are deferring what it means is that you check so while trying to get check if any other thread is active and then or active and you assume it will also ask for the resource so you defer you use a back off this both the threads may have to do that back off so basically you are you want to be sure and only then grab the resource so you want to be courteous so you can think of it as you know typically when you open a, a door you see somebody else coming on the other side you may want to let go uh, the control to the other person and the other person may do the same thing or in a corridor you sidestep to let the other person pass but both may do the same thing so this may go on forever. So basically, the loop here is that uh, checking for activity. So other activity and backing off. And after back off, we try. Now, because they are concurrent, this thing can go on for, for a long time. So basically, that is live log. So you're not making proposal. So it's log because no progress deadlock is is basically because you are holding and waiting live lock is so you have deadlock live lock you are hold and wait and this is you are basically spinning i won't use the word spinning uh, but um, you are basically differing forever Okay, that's basically what live lock is. So, how to debug them? We debug them similar to deadlocks, right? So, in both cases, so we said lock, lock means um, dead or live. It's basically no progress. So, thread A makes no progress. Thread B makes no progress at this point when both are checking and backing it's a form of race condition right and then there are the progress is when they come out of this situation and go further so what you do is at certain points after the uh, shared resource access immediately probably you put a, a check basically you you signal or you put an extra uh, code to say that you have completed this this uh, sharing or access. You have got success. So you basically signal to a monitoring thread. So you can you may have a monitor real time monitoring task or thread. You say that okay, I got I'm making pro I got this resource and I am signaling it. Now this guy will not will monitor all these signals from various threads. And then say, okay, if no thread is making this signal, that means they are they are actually not making progress. That means 
I will look at all the resource queues. I'll inspect and then see anything is blocked or you know it's the resource is free. So if it is blocked and you're not making thread, you may be in a deadlock. And if it is free and they're not making progress here, then they are in a live lock. So the same mechanism basically can be used for this. Alternatively, you could also have timeouts built into the uh, into the API of resource um, allocation. So when this back off happens and it, it, eventually the timeout will happen, and the timeout handler can you know detect um, live log, and not only detect, it's a way of uh, recovery by in this case by forcing the, the resource uh, allocation in the case of deadlock by forcing release of by one thread or other so you can decide so the mechanisms are very similar in one case so holding and waiting so you have to force the release in the other case, you have to force allocate so enough of backing off, just go ahead. Those kind of arbitration can be done by using a timeout handler built into the API, or it could be instrumented in the code to do additional, so what you call progress signaling. This is a design aspect. So how we want to do it is up to the application. So Prabhu, uh, is that satisfactory? Okay. I guess so.